This video is made to glorify Father God, Lord Jesus, Yahshua Mashiach, and the Holy Spirit, the Ruach Kadesh. Um, I want to share this, brothers and sisters in Christ. I never really cared for, you know, police. I never did, you know, I never treated them like, you know, I try my best to treat them like, hey, they got a job to do like I got a job to do. Um, there was this instant where I was, uh, when I was young, I never liked cops. You know, when I was a kid, this cop, and I was like nine years old, talked to me like I was nothing. You know, he's just... You know, and he was a black guy, you know, and I'm like, he talked to me like nothing. You know, I never forgot this cop when I was on a date with a girl that I liked in high school. She was real cool. And uh, this cop slammed me against his wall. I won't fight him. I won't even do that. He just, you know, and they, it, you know, like they just like the power, you know, and I'm like, yo, are you serious? And I done nothing wrong. Nothing. You know, just cops just being, you know, trifling, corrupt like cops be, you know. And and um, and I was banned from the mall for a year. I was like 18. There was something else that happened, you know. Um, I had run in with cops and they just... And, uh, but I never had no real, real problematic issues. You know, just... There was a time I got a ticket... In 2011, you know, because I don't have issues with cops. I don't, I stay to myself, you know, and, um, and I never forgot. It's like I was speeding, you know, I was using a company van and this van, like the, the, the talk on it was just so, you know, it was just on point. Like, you know, it would take next to nothing to go from 20 to 60, you know, I'm like, jeez, you know, like this cop, this van trying to outrun cop cars, you know. And I never forgot, the cop was like, I'm like, nah, I wasn't speeding, I couldn't have been. And he was just like, look, you ain't even got to take my word for it. Just look at the speed on me, the man. Just look at it. Don't take my word for it. And he was real cool. And it's like, and when he said it like that, I'm like, you know what, I couldn't, I couldn't say, you know, and he wasn't someone that just got off on power. He wasn't a dirty uniform. This was a white dude. He was not a dirty uniform. And I salute him for it because he was not. Because he was straight up like, yo, don't even take my word for it. Don't even take my word for it. Look, this is me clocking. This is you, right? Like, And when he showed me, I'm like, jeez. And um, and straight up, he was legit. And But lately, I come across these videos when cops are persecuting people. They have power and they mistreat people. They abuse people. Videos when a cop will beat the crap out of a woman. You know, when cops are no more than gang members. You know, they bust out a man's window with the family in the back. And these people are running scared because you're, you're, you're not cops. You're trying to kill these people. You're treating them like you're, you know, like, you know, like, really? And these cops, you know, how they get down, it's just unbelievable you know they're just trifling with no regard like and they just like having power saying hey i'm the police yo i'm gonna arrest you for whatever you know i can do that i'm a cop f you you, you know just trifling and um and these cops are really just and 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 I watch videos of how they beat people, how they mistreat people, they choke a man to death, you know. And I just was just watching videos of how, you know, a cop just shot a man. He was like, hey, can you give me your ID? Can you give me your ID? And he was going reaching for it, and the cop shot him anyways. And he wasn't doing nothing. He was like, yo, officer, you told me to get my ID. That's what I was doing, you know. And that cop was fired, and he's doing, getting ready to do time. But the point is, this stuff goes on all throughout the world. And I think of when Solomon said in Ecclesiastes, even the courts of law are corrupt. You know, when he was talking about the embrace of meaninglessness, you know, and, um, and I shared this vision that Jesus gave me this morning. Because I was just thinking about how cops are acting. They just... 
They do this. They do that. They 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 they're like they're gang members with uniforms and badges. That that's it. You know they they like. You know, they ain't no different from the gang member just saying, hey, where you from, cuz? You, you you know what I'm saying? You got on colors, you know? You got on my, you know, enemy colors and just no different than that. The only difference is they have paperwork. They get a legit salary. You know, health insurance. They get paid for it. And Jesus said to me, as I was thinking about this, the corrupt have no place in my kingdom. And he was saying, I want to show you something. And in this vision, I closed my eyes. And as I closed my eyes, I saw this uh, white cop, you know, and he looked like times of segregation, you know, and there was this white cop, you know, and I, I couldn't explain it. I seen how he smiled, you know, like at the injustice, like, you know, white cop. I couldn't explain it like that, you know. And I remember that one, seeing his smile, like, you know, and how he would be corrupt. And he would just, you know, and I seen it and I never forgot. I, I say why well, I seen a smile. I just, you know, just this, you know, arrogant smile. I like, yeah, I did it. Like, yeah, you know, just. And as I was seeing this. Seeing change. It's like, and I seen this and I opened my eyes and Jesus was like putting it on me, closing them again. And when I closed them this time, I saw that man in hell. And when I saw him in torment, his torment was. He. What I seen was this. I seen. The demons, you know, with the red skin, you know, with the smile, with the, you know, the demon face, you know, smiling. And this is where it got sadistic, is they were wearing police uniforms, having nightsticks, and having many variety of weapons, just smiling, just tormenting this man, just beating him mercilessly, just beating him. Imagine demons with all kinds of force hitting them. And this force would kill you on one hit if you were alive. But he's he feels all of it. And demons just smiling, wearing police uniforms. Or looking like people, you know, or straight up other people. And just beating the crap out of them. Just beating the crap out of them with nightsticks and... And when I seen that, if you didn't know, you would feel pity. Or even if you were someone that seen hell and you seen the torments, you would just start hurting. But for reasons I couldn't explain. I don't say this to be heartless, but I wasn't hurting. For I was seeing the destiny of the corrupt. The demons were wearing police uniforms, looking diesels all get out, wearing police uniforms, just beating the crap out of this man. As he would just, as he, in his life, would beat the crap out of other people. And love it because, hey, they get paid for it, you know. And, and the demons, in turn, would just... Beating him and, and and the force is enough to crack the ground and his soul remain intact and receives all of it. You can't beat him to the point of unconsciousness. You're conscious. Like in that place, in the place where they're dead, you're conscious. It's it's no in this life, you know, you could beat a person or do something to a person, the person can black out. Just black out. In that place, no, you don't black out. You receive it. You feel it. You know, no rest. You, you, your, your eye don't close. You, you receive it. Non-stop. And I seen the destiny of the wicked, the corrupt cop. The eternal punishment for the corrupt cop. People, you know, 
in this world, you know, they have no, they they have no never mind to how people have no never mind to how they mistreat people. You know, there was this one time when it was recent, you know, I'm not going to speak about it. When a person looked at me with, you know, and, and when someone looks at me like this, just something about it just awakens anger. You know, a person looked at me like with this smirk, like, you know, this arrogant with all the arrogance and pride in his face, just, you know, and. And I forgave that person. I don't even hold it against that person. But, you know, if it happened, to, you, you, you know, because, you know, Jesus blessed me with his peace he gives to me. But, you know, um, and I was, uh, I tell you this. Jesus was speaking to me about certain things as I was driving from work. Because I never forgot, there was this guy that wronged me. He really talked to me as trifling as he knew how back in 2011. And, and he did in 2012 as well, after I helped him provide for his family. And it irked me. And I forgave him. And Jesus was saying to me, I know you forgave him. You were a good friend to him. You did do right by him. And, and and I would think of the arrogance and pride he has in his heart. And Jesus was saying the arrogance and the pride that he has, the arrogance that he wears, the pride that he wears like a necklace, will be the chains that bind him. And when he said that to me, I was just like, whoa. And and he kept saying it, the, the arrogance that he wears as a necklace. Are the chains that bind him. And I was saying Jesus I do forgive him. I'm not just saying it because you need to hear this. And you need to know that I've forgiven him. And he was saying I know you've forgiven him. It's the offense. You know. When a person wronged me. And there was a time when a person wronged me. And that person straight up apologized to me. And when he apologized. The offense isn't there. Because, you know, you straight up like, hey, I wronged you and I'm sorry. You know, I forgave him and the offense isn't there. But, you know, when someone just looks at you with all the pride and just smirk, you just want to just, you know, you bound to. And when I seen this cop, You know, Jesus shares with me, anyone that wrongs me, it's embedded back onto them. And the injustice is most people don't repent or take it serious. You know, I, I never forgot, like, you know, um, you know, I, I had people that wronged me. And after they wrong me, they just look at me just, you know, like, like with this smirk, like, yeah, like, you know, like, what you gonna do? You know, just nothing, you know. And when I think of those people, people that act like that, it, brothers and sisters in Christ, if you repent. To the cop that watches this. The police officer that watches this. You know you may find this to be foolish. Pointless. You may even reject this. But I tell you plain. You know because your intellect may say. Hey this is this and this is that. Hey, and, and you know whatever. But if this goes rejected. These words will reside in your mind forever. For this what I share. Is the destiny of the corrupt cop. The corrupt police officer. Be blessed you all brothers and sisters in Christ. Stay in, Je <laughs> Stay in Jesus.